one of the strangest moons in the whole solar system, Miranda, is here. It looks like somebody blew it apart and put it back together. That is a strange moon. Good day, class. My name is Professor Adventure, and welcome back to the Magic School Bus Explores the Solar System. When we left off, we were going through the planets one by one. Uh, just to check out what uh, they're all about, and we are now going to Mars. So, yeah, we're just going to try to blow through the rest of these planets, find Frizzle again, and then be finished with this uh, CD. This has fun! Oh, there's the moons. Yes, I believe we've been to Mars before. Okay, so we can't skip that. That's cool. Alright, jumping right into it. Open the door. I kind of want to go through those games again just so I can hear the music. Because this game has awesome music. You can't hear any of it right now, but when the music does come in, oh man, it's good stuff. Alright, what do we got? Welcome to Mars Match. These pictures may look a lot alike, but they're not. One is Mars and the other is Earth. The object here is to line up the planet with the right picture. Click on either planet to switch their positions. Then, click on OK to see how you did. Three strikes and you're out. But hey, you can always try again. Okay, so I'm going to assume the one with the darker skies is going to be Mars. Rather than the lighter skies ones, because they're both in black and white. They both have mountains, they both have clouds. Um... Sure, let's try that. How do we do? All right, both planets have clouds. Yes. And most of the clouds on Mars are made of dust. <laughs> ah, see? I knew that one. Oh, this one's easy. Uh, Earth has trees, Mars does not. Whoa, good eyesight. Mars and Earth both have craters formed by meteors. Mars has a ton of them though, and Earth only has a few. Yeah. Oh, same thing, Mars has... Lots of rocks, Earth has grass. Good choice. Simple dimple. While there are sand dunes are there? on both Mars and Earth, those on Mars can be much higher. Can you imagine the dune buggy you'd need on Mars? Woo! Hmm. Um, hmm. This one's interesting. But uh, the glass clouds give it away, so... Plus the sun is a little bit, uh... A little bit brighter. Looks like it's closer. Congrats! Although both Earth and Mars have great mountains, after a hike on Earth, you could go jump on a lake. Hmm. Again, the dust clouds are giving away. That's also hey, really interesting. good job! True, you'd find lots of rocks on both planets. But grass and other plants? Only on Earth, my friend. Yes, yes. Uh, as I was saying, it's um, interesting how this one, and I think one other one, actually has Liz talking. Whereas the entire TV series... Um, the rest of the games, all of them, she doesn't talk. So, I don't know if she has any talk bubbles in the books, but, you know, you got maybe. It. Maybe I'll pick Mars up a Magic School Bus book just to like Earth, take a look at that. But on Mars, they're a lot easier to well, see because they tend to be larger. Like something. Vali's Marineris. <laughs> Sounds like a spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. It Vali's is longer Marineris. than 13 of right, Earth's more. Grand Canyons. One more. Exactamundo! Both planets have riverbeds, but the ones on Mars are all dried up. Alright. Oh, this one, we gotta do this one. Okay, so from the planets from the sky, you would see more craters with this one. Got it! Yeah. Both Earth and Mars have ice caps, but Martian ice caps are surrounded by canyons, dust, and rocks. Alright, cool. Pretty much done with that one. Learned a lot today already. Have you guys learned a thing or two? Alright, going to the Mars probe drone thing oh, it's a, oh, oh yeah, yeah. One. <clears throat> actually we could probably just we've already seen this one so you know what we're just gonna click on we're just gonna use the clothes and because we've already done that one so no sense of seeing it again so we're just gonna we're gonna mosey on to our next planet we have the last coin we need for our crew and I have a pretty good idea where uh, Miss Frizzle should be We're just gonna fly to our next planet here. Um. 
Almost lost my headphones there. That was close. Oh, look at it. It's such a big planet. Here we go. Oh, yes. This is the one where we land on the moon beside the planet. So I think this is Venus? Maybe? Hello, planet. Jupiter. Jupiter. Uh, my bad. Alright. Uh, interesting. So we're on the... Oh, hello, Carlos. What do you have to great. Look at all those volcanoes. Uh -huh. But I thought only Earth, Mars, and Venus had volcanoes. You would be wrong. Alright, what's the notebook for us? This is the Pack and Fill right, Science the pack Experiment. And fill. Now, I was Jupiter told... Jupiter is the largest I... planet in our solar system. Okay, cool. So, I was told that you are supposed to pick a planet, start the machine, and then when it fills up, it actually tells you how many are in each one. So, once it's filled... I thought it was supposed to tell me. Start it again. So, I gotta go, but not go over. So, like... There. Ah, not quite enough. A little more. Stop! Ah! There we go. I hear that audio clip everywhere. It's a very recognizable one, and I love it. So, you can fit 9,277 of the Mars planets inside of Venus. Or wherever we're at. Anyway, let's check out the uh, Earth, because now that I figured it out, we gotta stop it at the correct timing. Yeah. Alright, 1,402. We have now figured it out. Let's move along. And we'll just uh, check out the Jupiter probe game. All right, this looks this looks nice and easy. Oh no, this is the one with the very heavy gravity. Right, we have been here before. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna close that one, and we're just gonna mosey right along. Let's try to burn through a couple of these planets a little bit quicker. All right, for our last one, we are gonna go to Saturn. Which I'm pretty sure this is where Miss Frizzle is. Oh, okay, that's cool. And we've landed on the moon beside it. There goes the bus. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. Mosey has to go. I'm pretty sure we've been here before, too, so... Shouldn't take up too long. Oh no, we haven't been here before. I would recognize this. All right, what's our uh, what's our mini game? This is the Design O Ring Science Experiment. Saturn is easy to recognize because of its rings. Mm. They look solid, but actually they're made of rock, ice, and dust. Ah. Have fun designing your own rings. Oh boy! Way in Click day. on the crank to move the dispenser into place. Click on the bins of rock, dust, or ice. Okay. Fill the rings and make Saturn rotate. Okay, so we click on this. Get it out there. Oh, okay, I get you. Then we click on... What's the button do? Nothing. Cool. So we click blue. We can add some blue there. Throw a little yellow there. Maybe throw a little red out here. What's that do? That just recycles those ones. Okay, so we have a certain maximum amount. Throw some blue in there, maybe a little yellow, maybe a little red. I said a little red. All right, very good looking. 
couple red right beside it, and a little yellow beside it too. And there it goes. Button restart. Cool. Cool. That's all we got to do for that one. Excellent. I like doing hand gestures. Try to see if the camera will keep up with me. It's fun. All right, Saturn's probe. I know we haven't done this one yet. Yeah! Okay, so it looks like we gotta hop from platform to platform and the gravity is actually quite, oh, it's a little slickery. Slickery, slippery on these rocks. All right, off onto the next screen. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to go get that because that'll be mighty dang useful. Go for it, go for it. Ah, I missed it. All right, Liz, back to the start, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to look for that too. A little bit closer. Got it. Slide right off. Grab the boots and grab the most adorable jetpack. That sounds absolutely adorable. We're just gonna jetpack all the way up to here. We can make our way through these jumps. I'm sure. Nope. Okay, we're gonna take a little shortcut here. I know we're wasting a lot of oxygen. Just gonna use that to get up here. We're gonna wait all the way. We're gonna jump across, grab this platform, and ride our way to victory right there. Ah! And we've made it. Got the coin. All right. Very good. Game load up and jerk about and mess up because this is such an old game. All right, into the bus. The magic school bus. All right, how many planets do we got left to go? Three planets left. So, I think we're gonna save those last three planets for our last episode. So before I sign off, the last clue. This planet looks a lot more like its neighbor than it used to, because its neighbor used to have a spot. Really? Very interesting. Let's just take a quick look at our report here. Because I'm pretty sure this is the the one we need. Alright, Saturn at a glance. Interesting. Why I want to go to Saturn. Saturn is mostly gas and not very dense. In fact, Saturn will float on water. The truth is, no one can land on Saturn. Oh, interesting. And then cool fact about Saturn. How long is one rotation? How big across? How far is Saturn? How many moons does it have? At least 18 moons. It has many, many rings. So maybe this isn't Saturn. the... Bye. Wait. Saturn. Bye, Tim. So maybe this isn't the planet I'm thinking of. Because I thought Frizzle was going to be here because that was based on our first clue. This planet's rings are a dark gray color. Which, you know, that looks pretty dark gray. One of the strangest moons in the whole solar system, Miranda, is here. It looks like somebody blew it apart and put it back together. Okay, so we need to find... Probably not going to be Uranus. Let's take a quick look at Jupiter here. This isn't to kill time or anything. Now, I've, I've recorded plenty for today. I don't worry about that. Okay, so the planet's beside a great red spot which is obviously this one, the little moon Io, and this one doesn't have any rings. Um, oh no, it does have rings. Okay, so maybe Jupiter is the one we're, we wanna go for, because it has the great red spots. Okay, so does Mars, does Mars have, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, the wrong way. So does Mars have a red spot? Because that would be the neighboring planet to uh, the planet with the red spot. Mars at a glance. Uh, just take a look through these pictures here. Demois and Phobius. 
Hey, blah, blah, blah. Got two moons, couple rain, no rings, so it's not going to be Mars, obviously. So, uh, I think that'll be it for this episode. So, stay tuned for the next one, where we will go to our last three planets, do all the mini games for it, find Miss Frizzle, and call this adventure complete. So, stay tuned till then. And until then, class is dismissed. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Alright, nothing up here. It's just gonna be a right street jumping thing. Oh, not in the hole. Probably have to start from the beginning. Oh, this is a really simple one. Okay, I am serious. I'm going to find the audio files in this game. They are going on my iPod. Oh, this music is so.